Welcome to the Toolsec tutorials of Autodesk Maya. All right, so Toolsec Pivot gives users extensive support for handling pivots. Select your transforms and left click on the transforms label to write them into the transforms panel. So let's create a brand new polygon sphere over here and let's left click on the transforms label to write it into the transforms panel. By the way, these panels are standard in Toolsec, so you can right click on labels for appending selections into panels or middle click on labels to clear panels. Additionally, you can see a count of panels next to their labels. All right. There are three checkboxes which limits all operations X, Y and Z. These would allow or deny all operations to affect on chosen world axes. All right. The first section of minimum, maximum or center buttons moves rotate pivots as well as scale pivots by using bonding box of transforms. So let's see our pivot over here, then uncheck X and Z axis and click on the mean button to see our pivot over here and click on the max button and see the result and center button and see the result over here. Let's try these results for X axis, mean button, max button, center button and for Z axis, mean button, max button and center button. All right. Create locators from transforms pivot button of the next section. As the name points out, create locator to rotate pivot position or scale pivot position of transforms. So let's duplicate this sphere over here and here and here. Then position randomly this one, this one, that one, and that one. Select all of them, load them, and click on this button. And before even doing that, let's check back our X and Y axis and click on this button. Then you will see there are four locators positioned over here, which are the positions of rotate pivot or scale pivot of transforms written in the transforms panel. All right. The final section needs a locator for its procedures. Select a locator and click on the locator label to write into its own line box. So let's delete our locators over here, then select this locator and click on this label to load it. All right. Then you can move rotate pivots as well as scale pivots of your transforms to position of the locator by clicking move transforms pivot to locator button. Let's create a brand new polygon sphere over here and duplicate here, duplicate here and duplicate here. Then select all of them, load them and click on this button and see our pivots are now positioned to the position of the locator over here. Let's see this one and this one. All right. In the end, you can move transforms by matching its rotate pivot or scale pivot position to locator's position when you click on the match transforms pivot to locator button. Let's center our pivots first and Click on this button. So now you will see our objects are moved by matching its rotate pivot or scale pivot position to locator's position over here. All right. Thanks for watching me. See you in the next video.